Hey y'all. <laughs> well, that kind of scared me. So today, I am waiting on, um, look at me in my little white pants, my little white purse. I love it. But I'm waiting on, okay, there we go. I was probably waiting on folks to get in their car so they won't be seeing me filming myself. Oh, y'all, I got the best parking place this morning because right as I pulled in, someone else was pulling out, and so I got a great parking place. I mean, great. You're going to see. It looks like I'm in this joint. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'd want to. I don't know if I'd want to own my own business. Actually, my husband does, but it's a small paint contracting business. This is big. This is international. I don't know. I've got this weird, weird little hair sticking out there. Whatever. My hair is like fried today. I look like I braided it. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I've been going to the doctor to see about my thyroid and stuff like that. Blue Cross Blue Shield is dropping Piedmont. It's all my doctors. I'm going to start over unless they can negotiate. And they generally do. I think they did this with um, United Healthcare. I just had a squirrel throw a pine cone down at me. Maybe he wants my attention. <laughs> well, it's a cute little pine cone. Thank you. Thank you very much. There it is. There's the pine cone. Well, you know what it could be. He was just finished eating. Maybe I better get out from underneath him <gasps> because he may be going to the ladies' room next. I mean, the gentlemen's room, the squirrel bathroom. <sighs> Beth, where do I come up with something? Yes. Well, I don't know, but we have a good time anyway. Oh, me. So, have any of y'all started some of your New Year's resolutions? I know you're going to laugh, right? Like, Beth, what do you mean New Year's? Because we all know the truth. We start them, and then they fall away. But you can always start them back. So, we're starting into the second quarter of the year and it's good look how fried my hair is y'all i need to go see about vitamin deficiency <laughs> anyway um this is the purse i'm telling y'all is listen it just sounds good the leather and the hardware it's a michael kors i got it at the outlet store and uh i really do enjoy it the outlets um you have to kind of just like anything that gets leftovers you gotta pick through them Y'all, sorry about my bra strap, just little flashes at times. But you know what happens? Let me take this off. <sighs> See how winded I sound? Oh! And I did go to the heart doctor, and he said, do not start back exercising yet. He says, I want to um, check your heart. And until your blood pressure gets down, we're not checking your heart because you can't even do a stress test. Is that just embarrassing? I can't even do a stress test per the doc. But I know he doesn't want me to fall over while I'm trying to... I think, you know, they, they make you walk hard and get your breathing and heart rate up substantially so that they can stress and see where you're at. But they don't want to do that and give you a heart attack at the same time. So if your blood pressure is high, they will not let you. Well, I didn't know my blood pressure had gone back up. It's been down for like a year and I haven't even been doing meds. So I think it's because of the weight I've gained and that if, and I'm on Weight Watchers, if I'll get some weight off and I am back to taking my uh, meds, I did say, he did tell me that it what does not hurt your kidneys because I was concerned about that. And he said, no, it does not affect your kidneys. And what will affect your kidneys is if you have high blood pressure, so start your meds back. So I did. And I also started back metformin, which is kind of a drug that helps you stave off um, diabetes. It kind of helps with insulin resistance so that you don't become diabetic. That's another one I'd heard can be, heard can be very tough on your kidneys, but diabetes is more tough on your kidneys. So, bottom line is getting the weight off 
get my blood pressure down and then I can do more exercise. And if I do more exercise, then I can do more, um, get more weight off and then I can get off these meds. I think the thing is, uh, for the type of things I'm talking about, rather than accepting that you're overweight and accepting that you need meds to help you with sugar, if you're not there yet, if you're not there yet, and if you do, then you need to take your meds. But if you're still in the yellow zone where you might be able to reverse all of this by getting serious about diet and exercise, you need to do it. Well, I haven't. I just admit I haven't. I don't know why. Laziness? Could it be that simple? Do we want to make it something else when it's just laziness? <sighs> yeah. I don't know, maybe a touch of depression when my mom died just hung on for a while and I wouldn't admit it. You know, I don't know. But the bottom line is, I know this is not what she would want for me. She wouldn't want me to have diabetes. She wouldn't want me to have heart problems. And they're interrelated to each other, certainly. And, you know, I'm aging. So, the bottom line is, got to be serious. Got to be, got to be. I had a friend who gave me some strawberry, homemade strawberry cake today. Oh my gosh, it's so moist and so sugary. And so every time she makes one, she uh, leaves, leaves some for me. And um, she told me today, she goes, so how have you been doing on your, um, your um, Weight Watchers? And I told her, I said, I did real good over the holiday. Um, I did have a little bit of the, uh, the ham, but because it had a lot of, um, you know, basting on it from honey and I don't know, all kinds of rubs and stuff that were real salty, which causes you to retain water, which raises your blood pressure. Um, then also my husband asked me to please make homemade potato salad, which potatoes do have potassium and they, um, do have fiber, but the white potatoes, um, are one of those things that, you know, when you are uh, watching your sugar, and watching your carbs, the white foods like white potatoes, white bread, white rice, they tell you to cut back on, or at least get down to a very small amount with a meal and have it with a meal. So I made the homemade potato salad and um, I only had a little bit of that. And then I had the green beans and I had a little bit of the um, baked beans because I wanted to make baked beans and ham for my dad and potato salad and I didn't do coleslaw or salad see that would have been better so it's just about making choices and that if you make what we would consider a not as wise sugary choice then you need to make it much smaller as far as the portion size like a mouthful or two and that's it and then for the next meal you really need to be real careful as well usually I don't do bad you guys for lunch because I have a salad and um, it only has on it vegetables. And for dressing, I just use a, a slight sprinkling of balsamic vinegar and a slight, slight drizzle of um, extra virgin olive oil just to, for digestion is why I put this in there. Because I really do like the taste of spinach lettuce and, and mixed green lettuce. I like um, the taste of raw carrots and cauliflower and broccoli and cucumber and tomato and I've gotten to where I quit putting cheese on and I don't miss it one bit I got to where I just did littler and littler sprinkles and I was like what's what even bother uh, mushrooms sometimes and chickpeas I'll put on there and grilled chicken and um, for dessert I have some fresh fruit and there's always fresh fruit on the salad bar I think I had orange like a couple of slices of oranges um, and there's usually like a fruit medley or something it's always fresh never canned or anything so lunch isn't my problem dinner's my problem and snack time around 3 30 do y'all ever have like a certain time of day where you know some people it's mid-morning some people it's mid-afternoon mine's mid-afternoon and i need some salt and something to crunch so weight watchers has these little puffed potato chips which just doesn't seem like i bet it's not actually potato i bet it's something else and see that's not even seem right so today for my snack i went and got a, a few sprinkles of walnuts a couple of almonds a couple of sun um, pumpkin seeds and a couple of cashews and i just kind of stirred it around my finger in a little cup and then i just ate 
one at a time so I didn't like cram a bunch in my mouth. And that really was a crunchy kind of whatever that sodium need I seem to have. I don't really crave sweets. I seem to crave salt. I know it's not good. Probably fat, right? And I'm sure as I retrain my mouth, I will, because all of those are salt free, except I think that the cashews have a little salt on them. But all the other seeds have no salt on them. They're not salted. I'm not sure even the cashews do. So that's a great snack that I can have. And I, I'm just going to start doing that every day instead of any kind of, but then at the end of the day, y'all, I ate four Reese's eggs. The little eggs, you know, that melt in your mouth. Four. I just sat there and ate them. I was like, what are these doing at my desk? So, tomorrow, working from home, I will not have the Reese's... They're not Reese's cups. They're the shapes of things, like pumpkins or Christmas trees and Easter, it's an Easter egg. And so, they don't have that, that dark brown um, cup on it. And so, they're not as hard. And they just melt in your mouth. And it's just not good to have them around. I think that's the key, y'all, is not having temptation around you. I know the Bible tells us to run from it, especially sexual temptation, because God knows that, we, that we're made of flesh, and he knows that our flesh fell, and that we, um, we're easily tempted now. And so one of the greatest things you can do is stay in the Word of God and stay in prayer so that your mind is filled with those things that are against temptation. And I think that's when I get weak is when I have not been in the Word of God. So guess what I'm going to do when I go? I'm not going to watch TV or anything like that. I'm going upstairs to my office. I may get my stuff ready for the spring giveaway. And I'm going to get into reading the Word of God and do a Bible study for you guys. So, it'll help me. I hope it'll help you. Anyway, just rambling. Love you guys. And I'll see you in a little while. Bye.